Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's time to introduce our special guest. He's simply a guest, but many say he's simply the best principal around. So please put your hands together for Mr. Foley. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Foley. Um, Thanks for having me. You're, well, you're very welcome. Um, I'm going to ask you a few little questions, short questions. Um, so maybe we'll start with question one. What would, what would have been your favourite day or occasion in the school? In, in, That's interesting that you should ask me that question, though, because actually today is my favourite day. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to there. That's not, that's not part of the script. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, yes. This, no, this is this is the, the, my favourite day. Oh great! Right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what's on the? No, it's it not Wednesday. It's, no, it's to, it's today. Oh, okay. Every year, this day is my favourite day. Oh okay. Fantastic. Um, there's been a lot of school shows over the years. What would they have been your favourite school show? Like, have does anyone that yeah. stick out like? Or? Well, I thought you were going to ask me what was my favourite uh, act. Oh, all right. On the talent show. On the talent show, because that's what we're doing. Oh, I know. What did you know? Yeah, but this is question two. Oh, it's a question two. Yeah, question yeah. Two. Well, we asked him, what was your favourite match? Oh, what was my favourite match? I was no. finding it very difficult to think about it there for a moment. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But then I got handed this piece oh, of paper. Yes. And it says on it, it says, Dem Talented Lads, The Wireless, winning the talent show in 2010. No. Oh. And so your favourite school show now, the musical, yeah. My favourite school yeah. show, that's easy, that's easy. I have two favourite school shows. Okay. The first favourite school show was Les Miserables. But my favourite, 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 favourite school show was this year's production of Joseph and the Music. Uh, saw, didn't we? We came along to see it. Have you ever say like about uh, school shows or? Well, yeah. Well, I think next year actually there, there should be a, in the pipeline a musical uh, in honour of Mr. Foley. I think, and yeah. I, I, I can see the name of it now. I can see Mr. Foley. What was it? No, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Foley and his amazing green coloured brain jacket. <laughs> asking me these questions. Um, the, the, I have, actually, I'm going into business. Yeah, I'm going to become an egg salesman. An egg salesman, yeah, and vegetables. I'm going into partnership with 1-9 and 2-9 after Christmas. And believe me, it's flight. I'm going to be selling eggs as soon as they get the chickens. I'm going to be selling eggs and I'm going to be selling spring vegetables. Very Thanks very much. Alright, well, yeah, that's just, you know, would you think maybe you're writing a book, maybe an autobiography or something after you've finished? Something like, you know, the story of the man behind the green jacket or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Give the inside seat and so forth. Yeah, 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 yeah,
It was back in well now, 1947, and well, it would have been near the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. I remember, of course, John F. Kennedy, of course, would have been in his prime, and the whole country of Ireland was terrified, and it was a very scary time for the people of Ireland. Mr. Lau here. I thought it was a great principal then. But I'm the first time I met. Hey, take off the green jacket. Oh, sorry, Mr. Ford. But as we always say, the chain is the strongest, weakest link, eh? Mr. Fordy, you are not a weak link. Best of luck in your retirement, Mr. Maher. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fandom. Mr. Foley, you've been a great principal, and I greatly admire you in that. But I hope the students of St. Brennan's CS realize that from the 9th of January onwards, study will be the main priority in this school. <laughs> Isn't that right, Roger? Yes, that is true, Charles. And Mr. Hensley, honey, you may enjoy your 2012 when you can, because we go nowhere after that, honey. <laughs> Mr. Foley, enjoy your retirement. All the best, Miss Atman. <laughs> A few other teachers, including the old Mr. Kelly, but he refused blankly to be recorded. He wanted big expenses, he's used to them referees' expenses. So, uh, in the lower circumstances, have we that money up here in TV3? So, uh, have you any words to say about your friends? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, have any words to say about my friends? Um, like, my colleagues, yeah. Um, this is a serious book now, isn't it? Well, we're in the war for you. Um, Johnny Greenhouse, there of the Agency of Preventing Litter, Apple, uh, was on to be there. He wants to give you an award. Uh, he, he wrote a letter uh, explaining you know, your, your contribution to preventing litter in the school. And he says, uh, At the agency here, we do be hearing reports that the young lads in Borough do be doing a bit of littering. And they do be shouting, ah, much, as they do be throwing coke cans and table packets on the school playing pitches and so forth. But um, Mr. Foley has helped instill a spirit of uh, environmentalism and an anti litter policy in the school, which is highly commendable. And he would like to present you with the Golden Litter Glove Award. <laughs> and this is. Uh, Before we, uh, before we go, um, Ignatius, you had a poem there, you just wanted to read out. Yes, well, I, I composed, in my spare time, I, I composed poetry. Oh, um, there you go. So I have um, a little tune now. <coughs> One and three quarters litres of milk. <laughs> Sliced pan. Brown. Sorry, that's, that's oh, a shop. No, no, no. <laughs> It's modern poetry, isn't it? <laughs> yes. This man you call Foley. By me. Who is this man? This man you call Foley. Is he a saint? Is he that holy? He is our principal. I hear you shout. Our commander in chief. There is not a doubt. I see him now, this man you call Foley, up guarding the gates, much like a goalie. <laughs> he stands there alone to have good and stop bad as he shouts down the pass. Lunch passes, lads. <laughs> He stands there in rain, with his green jacket, <laughs> stopping young gamblers going to Hackett's. <laughs> I see him now, this man you call Foley, with the intercom in hand, his moment of glory. <laughs> with a large inward breath, he prepares to pronounce them, as he says with great pride. Just a couple of announcements. <laughs> his words are eloquent and flow like a stream, even though we don't have a clue what they mean. 
He speaks about missiles. Booby traps a lot. <laughs> and sometimes you might worry he's losing the plot. <laughs> we all know this man. This man we call Foley. We all know there is only one Foley only. <laughs> but Foley is finished. And what's done is done. Miss Lachnan shall take over. That'll be fun. <laughs> It's not over. It has reached an end. And to sum up Tom Foley, I'd say legend. Thank you. Uh, just before we go, um, we have a few tweets thereafter coming in. Um, some of them relating to the ties. Bring back Tuberty from Margaret and Donegal. None of that is negative. That was Christmas after all. Yeah, all. Margaret, that's that negativity. The worst show, tie show ever from Tom. That's. Um, and T shirt has been in contact and he sends his best wishes in your retirement, Mr. Foley. And also Michael D. Higgins has sent us a tweet. And can I hear that? I guess Mila Week was that. That's from Michael D. Um, so I suppose that's coming towards the end of our show. Uh, don't forget to add us, the wireless, we're on Facebook. We only have about 42 friends, I think. So we do have a few friends. And for all the people now in the audience, we may be playing Stevens is now the support act to the D-Block, which are fellow students here, or former students. Uh, so that has yet to be confirmed. So check out Bookfest for all that. And um, Mr. Foley, it's been a pleasure. And thank you. Pleasure has been half mine. Thanks very much. <laughs>